tutorial i will show you how to use a signal editor block or signal uh, builder block uh, in some matlab version in simulink okay and you will find a signal editor block or a signal builder block in uh, simulink uh, library browser and sources and uh, here is our signal editor block okay this is a signal editor block and in some matlab version uh, this name could be signal builder block okay so this is the, all the same so in order to uh, configure the signal editor block if we double click on this block and you will see uh, here a small icon okay and to create and edit scenarios uh, last the signal editor block user interface okay so we have to click on this user interface block and clicking on this okay and it will create a window uh, like this okay and here from this left side here, here uh, you can see the name scenario okay and basically you can add a scenario and signal and so on okay here i am taking a signal scenario and multiple signal and it will be all to know the basic of the signal editor block okay and this is our signal uh, scenario one and this is signal one okay and if you double click on this and you will uh, see a window like this uh, where you can edit your signal okay uh, here um, on the top side you can see the point, point line expression draw edges and some icon okay uh, firstly i'm uh, drawing a line here uh, for that we have to erase the line okay and uh, i'm taking a line uh, like this uh, i'm taking a random line okay you can uh, take uh, your own uh, whatever you want okay and it is in this i want it up to eight second or ten second okay uh, so our signal one is done and now i'm closing this signal and i'm adding another signal for that you have to right click on this and insert and here you can see signal okay and this is our signal two and this is uh, still uh, off okay we have to double click on this to view the signal and uh, similarly i have using this signal and in this in this uh, signal i want to draw a signal okay and here i am drawing a signal like this i do like this okay so okay uh, so this is the signal i draw uh, what the signal editor done is that yeah in the right hand, uh, right hand side you can see the time and data value okay so this is uh, the this time and data value will basically use the in the same way, okay and similarly if i double click on this signal one you can see what the time and data value okay and here i'm taking another signal this is a uh, signal three okay this is signal three and i'm closing signal one and this is signal three okay uh, similarly i'm removing this point and i want expression okay you can also add expression uh, like i'm taking a time value like uh, one to ten okay and data value i'm i want as uh, the square root okay uh, for that i'm taking square root and i'm copying this time value and paste it here okay so this is basically gives the square root value okay so i'm click okay if i fit this window now you can see the time and double okay uh, the time is increasing up to 10 and it's giving the square value okay here i want to insert another signal this is another case okay i'm using this one and this is our signal 4 okay and signal 4 uh, this is the basic of uh, the signal editor that you can add manual time and data value okay and i'm using this signal okay here uh, you can add insert row here and i'm taking time value as one data value five and another signal like two this will be four and three this will be six okay and so i'm taking the last value as one ten and five okay now it will create a signal like this okay so uh, all our signal is done okay next we have to uh, go signal later and we have to save this okay uh, for that you have to click save as and i'm taking a uh, name uh, like uh, signal editor uh, one okay 
will get a, a m file in the kernel in the path okay i'm clicking save this so our all the setting in the signal editor has done i'm closing the signal editor and here you can see the signal editor one a back file has created and this is a scenario it's active scenario one you can also you can also add a multiple scenario here and you can see the signal properties we have added a signal uh, to signal four okay and i'm clicking okay and i'm taking a scope uh, to see whether it's working or not and input will be a four okay okay four and i'm choosing the out okay and this is done I'm connecting to uh, all the four signals. You can also form and go to blow. Uh, it will uh, make your model looking good. Okay. Now I'm running this model. Okay. Now you can see all the uh, four signals is supported here. Okay. Uh, in the scope, you are uh, seeing the time well and the data below. Okay. And if you check this, I'm again opening this. A signal editor block we have to launch a signal editor here okay and this is this other signal scenario one and this other signal one okay and you can see the time and data value basically simply uh, take the time and data value here okay and you can see signal one signal one uh, the simile is taking the time value and the data value similarly for a signal two and signal four and and so on okay so this is the way you can use signal editor block or signal builder block in single okay so that's all for today thanks for watching